everybody welcome back to my channel today is a continuation of glamoween which is something that i created mm -hmm. and it's during the month of spooktember also known as september spooktember sounds way cooler though so Glamoween is the prequel to Halloween, which is in October, obviously. I mean, Halloween started is all year long, but it officially starts on September 1st, for those of you who didn't know, um, and then it ends on October 31st. So October 31st is just the last day of Halloween, and that's why it's so special. I don't do a lot of, like, talking videos like this because most of the time when I'm doing my makeup, my husband is in the room with me playing his video games, and he is uh, very loud when he he plays his video games and talks a lot and cusses a lot and well I just don't really want that in my videos and as much as I'd like to ask him to be quiet for five minutes it's just not realistic because he's not gonna be quiet so sometimes when I don't do a beginning intro like this it's because most likely he's playing his video games with his friends being loud so Today I am alone, I go to work here soon, so I thought, hey, I could actually film a little intro saying hi to you guys. So today's look is this uh, bone cut crease graphic liner. It's an idea that popped in my head and I thought, hey, that would be kind of cute. It was a little hard to do because it's very fine little details, but I got it done. I did it. I hope you are enjoying Glamoween thus far. I do have quite a few more ideas to roll out this month before we hit October. October is saved for all of my full body paints and my character transformations. So I don't really do any of those in the month of September. I mainly keep those for the spookiest month of the year, which is October. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, and please subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you can see the rest of September's spooky Glamoween looks, and so you can also see all of my Halloween looks during the month of October. I don't know if I'm going to be getting to 31 looks because the face awards kind of set me back a little bit. Not a big deal. I'm happy about it. I'm not sad about it or upset, but I usually do some of my looks in August, and I couldn't start my looks until this month so I am set back a little bit I'm hoping to do a lot of looks just not 31 I'm sorry I'm gonna try all right y'all so I went ahead and filled in my beautiful eyebrows because it's pretty self-explanatory and the first thing I'm gonna do is use my that's the point hella fine NYX liquid liner because this stuff is the best I'm so obsessed with it you have no idea and I'm going to start off by doing a pretty giant cat eye I'm sorry my camera is being weird right here but I'm going to do a normal cat eye first. I'm going to do it pretty dramatic, and you want to do it pretty thick. Uh, the thinner you do it, the harder it's going to be to draw those little bones on there. So try to get it as thick as possible without having a raccoon eye. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You can have a raccoon eye if you want to. Just saying. Then I'm going to go right above my crease and start the graphic liner type of cut crease thing. You want to go above your crease. You can go in your crease a little bit if you'd like to, but if you go right in your crease, you're not going to be able to see anything when you're looking straight ahead. So if you go above your crease, um, you'll be able to see it. So I'm going above the crease and I'm making that quite thick as well. I'm just connecting it to that cat eye and making sure it's nice and smooth, as smooth as I can get it. Taking my white liquid liner from NYX Cosmetics, this is what I'm going to be using to draw the little bones on. Now I just did two little dots right next to each other, then I did a line, and then I kind of connected everything and made it smooth looking. So you don't want to make anything like pointy, you want the bone to be totally smooth, if that makes sense. And then I just did two little dots on the end there. And that's how I did my bones. Easy peasy. You can rest your, what I, what I personally do sometimes when I'm doing like little things like this, I will rest my elbow on my vanity and then the arm that I'm not using to draw, I'll hold my wrist and then I will paint. 
I'm left-handed, so I use my right hand to hold my left wrist as I am drawing or painting. When I need to do really small little details or super straight lines, I, that's my trick. I just put it on my elbow on the desk or the vanity and then hold my left wrist with my right arm. That makes sense. And that kind of helps make it more steady and sturdy. And if you mess anything up or make something too thick with the white liquid liner, you can just go back in with the tiny little black liquid liner and try to clean up anything as best as you can. So now that the liner is finished, I'm gonna go on to my face. I'm using my Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer to hydrate the skin a little bit because I need some hydration really bad. And then I'm using my NYX Pore Filler Primer, and that's just going to clean up those pores and make my skin look nice and smooth. Then I'm using my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations ever. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. I am going to work today, like I mentioned earlier. So this foundation actually controls my oil very, very well throughout the day. For concealer, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I've been using it so much lately. I'm obsessed. And a lot of people ask, you know, if I wear my looks to work or go anywhere in them. If I'm not wearing a wig in my photos or my videos, I am most likely going to work or going to do something. Um, if I'm wearing a wig, I'm not going to do anything. That's just something that you can kind of keep in mind when you see my looks, if you're curious about that. If I'm wearing a wig, I'm probably not going to do anything because I can't stand wearing wigs for a long period of time. I'm then taking this faux white mint green liner and I'm putting that right in my waterline. Just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm also going to finish off the cat eye and make it super pointy in the very inner corner there. It's my favorite thing to do. And then kind of connect it on the outer part as well. put some mascara on. I'm using my super fan mascara from Smashbox, which is my favorite. It really coats the bottom lashes and makes them look super thick, so it's my favorite. It's just not waterproof, so don't plan on crying in it, because it will get everywhere. Then I'm just popping some lashes on real quick. These are Vivacious from Sephora. And the little um, thing I'm using to pop them on with is Lily Lashes. It's from Lily Lashes. Ta-da! And then add a little more mascara. And then I'm going to contour my face using my Kat Von D Shading Light Contour Palette. I have used this thing for so long. I need to get some refills. I'm just going to contour as you normally would. using my blush palette from Sigma, and I'm going to be using the orangish kind of shade today because it's Halloween. And for my highlight today, I'm using my Toothache Bitter Lace Beauty Highlight. It has little candy corns on it, and, and it's orange, it's yellow, and it's silver. So I'm going to spray my face first with my Vichy Water Spray, and then I'm going to go in and start highlighting those cheekbones just to make it pop a little bit more. It is truly an orange highlight, though, which I love because I cannot find an orange highlight anywhere, so I'm obsessed with this one. Also going to highlight my brow bone with my Lash Fan Brush from Sigma Beauty and my nose. Yes. Now for lips, I'm using my classic horror LA Splash Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I have one called Frankie and I have one called Drac. So I'm going to use Drac first because it's a very deep purple shade and I'm going to kind of use it as a lip liner today and just outline my lips. And then I will be taking Frankie. It's a bright red, and I'm just going to fill in the center there and go on top of that purple as well, just so it's darker on the outside and it goes brighter in the middle. It's an ombre lip. 
That is it for today's tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love Glam Halloween. I love doing Glam Halloween looks. Please make sure you're subscribed so you can see all of my looks in the month of October. And I will see you guys in my next Glam Halloween tutorial. Bye!